Okay, we're here with Dr. Michael Lee of BodyLogic MD and his patient Judy Brock for their first initial visit. Okay. So Judy, how can I help you? Well, Dr. Lee, I had a hysterectomy at age 37 and I'm 47 and um, it took a few years of convincing but I finally convinced my gynecologist to give me some hormone therapy and she put me on estrogen mm -hmm. and said you'll be fine. I've never been fine since then. I, I have a decreased sex drive, my weight's out of control, I don't sleep properly. And then I started taking some medication for headaches and apparently I had an interaction with the estrogen and my estrogen got depleted, so I thought. So as a nurse, I decided to double up on myself and that's when I found you and you ordered all these tests on me, so I'm here to get the results and I'm a little frightened of what I've done to myself, but I understand you're the hormone expert in Miami, so I'm putting my life in your hands. Okay. Uh, well, I'm going to ask you a few questions. So I, I get that you're having hot flashes now. Yes, yeah, severe. And uh, did your gynecologist ever put you on bioidentical progesterone? No, never. She told me I didn't need progesterone because I don't have a uterus. Don't have a anymore. uterus. Then okay. the, I have an ovaries. Okay. And then uh, how about things like night sweats, uh, vaginal dryness, uh, trouble sleeping? Um, check, check, check. Okay. <laughs> All right, and then uh, we're going to go over a little bit of your past medical history. You have a history of migraines, and then you've had uh, several surgeries in the past, which we talked about over the phone. Um, are you what medications are you taking now? Um, plain estrogen, uh -huh. two milligrams a day. Okay. Two baby aspirin. Some furanol with codeine for headaches. Okay. And some sporadic testosterone cream, but. Okay. I'm not really sure how to use that. How about any vitamins or supplements? No vitamins. I, my no. diet is very poor. Okay. Um, the most important question is, uh, what are the stressors in your life? Well, I'm an emergency room nurse. Okay. Um, so I do shift work, and it's hard to have a balanced diet, as okay. you know. Um, mostly that mostly my work and not feeling well I just don't I feel like I'm 67 instead of 47 okay um, speaking of diet on a typical day and I know every day is different what are you usually eating from morning to night and if you skip meals when do you usually skip them um, usually I have something in the morning just a protein type drink and mm -hmm. most of the times I don't get around to having anything else throughout the day until late when I come home so you skip um, meals a lot many meals okay well one of the things I have to discuss is uh, nutrition and what you put in your mouth directly impacts your hormones. So I'm going to discuss in a little while the, the diet that I, how I'd like you to eat more, more health consciously. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, let's go over your results of your uh, saliva first of all. Um, well, it looks like your estrogen levels is sky high. Okay, so you've been treating yourself um, with estrogen and you didn't really need it. And that's a typical scenario I see a lot with women with a hysterectomy. Start chasing your tails trying to solve your hot flashes with estrogen and, and you're getting too much. <clears throat> your progesterone is very low. Um, that has to do for a couple of reasons. Number one, stress can deplete your progesterone. Um, also, just by age, you're not producing progesterone like you used to. Um, and then one important relationship that we look at is the progesterone over the estrogen, and that's very low because your estrogen is sky high, and your progesterone is really low. Uh, your testosterone is fine, your DHEA is fine, and then your cortisol profile, you have signs of severe adrenal fatigue. And uh, I'm going to go more over that in a little while when I discuss all the individual hormones, but uh, there's many things we can do for that. Number one right off the bat is we need to replace your progesterone. Dr. Lee, is my progesterone low because I don't have a uterus? No, your progesterone's low because you're menopausal. Um, you had a hysterectomy at a relatively early age, and they've done studies where even if you leave the ovaries and you take out the womb, that the ovaries can start to cease in their function, stop functioning earlier than they normally would be if you did have a uterus. Um, but it also could be depleted because you are going through stress. Okay? And stress depletes progesterone. Progesterone is the building block to make cortisol. And that's a really important point to understand. 
So, um, 